Hello, hello, Danger Noodles. I am here with uh, the person I got into streaming by being stupid. Oh, wait, wait, but there we go. Back to this. And hello to the one viewer on my end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now look how detailed this place is. Ooh. Say this is some Final Fantasy stuff? Yeah, this is a Final Fantasy stuff. Huh. Yeah, I'm still... There was one Final Fantasy game I didn't play because majority of the time you would be in a fucking car. That... How does that have anything to do with the... Yeah, we gotta clean this. Oh, shit. As you're new to Midgar, allow me to, to say a few words of way of introduction. Hey, Gar. Hi, Gar, a random person, I don't know. What? We <laughs> talked about Gar yesterday. I am the director of you urban planning responsible for the design of the entire city, including its heart, the Shinra building in which you are currently working. And that's all he said. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then, do you want to take the bike while I take the truck, or vice versa? Sure. Oh, what happened? Uh, <laughs> <fuck> <laughs> <sake>. <laughs> because we took... What happened? Uh, yeah, same. Uh, there it is. Also, guard, you did not at all see me accidentally start this with the outro slide. That's not something that happened. <laughs> okay. How long were you sitting there without, like, doing anything? I mean, I had power wash time on that open for a while, so that probably it was my fault. Oh, okay. Wait, what the... I, I clicked on this... Alright. Oh, wait. I need to go back. I'm just going to type in your credit card number. Oh my gosh, each light on the bike is a different thing. Great. Wonderful. Fan-fucking-tastic. Let me do this. Okay. Alright, you're back. Yay, Hatchet! Okay. Alright, let's actually start cleaning before it gets mad at us. Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Well, I need to. I need to turn that the fuck down. <laughs> you were just like all of a sudden. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yeah, I, I I turned the volume of Power Wash Simulator up last night to play on my own time. <laughs> hey, Bright, speak real quick. Penis. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, our organization run by the lauded President Shinra is split into five divisions, urban planning, space and aeronautics, advanced weaponry, and I, I didn't get to see everything else. Rip. I want to know that up slightly. There we go. How are the audio levels sounding, Gar? Someone just joined the Discord server. Would be a uh, witch from my. I gave the Discord server link to them. Okay. So, you, so they're all good. Yeah, I know them. They're they're chill. Okay. So just give me a moment while I do Discord staff stuff. I imagine Gar's gonna join soon too. Wait, did I? Gar, did I actually send you the invite, or did I just ask if I sent you the invite? Alright, there we go.
I'm not chill. Yes, you are. You are a chill person to be around. Don't lie. Uh, I expect Heidegger, Public Security, or Professor Hojo of Research and Development to call upon your services at some point as well. I am toxic, girl. You ain't toxic, Gar. Fuck, witch. My brain is mixing you two up. <laughs> Is head of public security hydrogen commands the city's military while Hojo concerns himself with pushing the boundaries of science due to the highly secure nature of their jobs as well as eccentric personalities. I recommend not making any ripples, let alone waves when working with. Them. Sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> both <laughs> both Witch and Gar responded by saying we are the same person, lol. Basically. Nice. Digital. Uh, which says we are the same person. Lol. Gar says we're the same person. Basically, don't worry. And then digital witch says, "Wow, I didn't realize you two were that in sync. Are are you two a fucking hive mind? Without my knowledge, yes. There is there is your invite, Gar, in DMs. It's action." Let me say that at the same time. It's actually a problem. We are a mind flare colony. Watch it. I hope whoever does, like, whoever in game that this type of car gets fucking shot in the foot. Why? It's a fucking trike, but also a truck. <laughs> There's only one wheel at the back. Oh. Getting that kind of stuff happens regularly pretty much daily. Try up. <laughs> oh god. That sounds like it could be used as a slur. Don't know what for, but it has like that punchy type of a slur for some brain. Our motorcycle is almost complete. I just realized the less experience of us took the harder one. True, I. I mean, honestly, I don't know how much better it it's going to get. It's just like a really small, punchy word. Like most slurs that I know of are generally very small, punchy words. Now onto the vehicles themselves. And that's it. That is anything else. <laughs> List them all right. No, I will not start listing slurs. The motorcycle is, is a hardy Daytona, highly maneuverable and powered by our company's first V-type DOHC engine. I have no idea what the fuck that is. The engine is the uh, same as those engine. used in small aircraft, as it does 0 to 60, and I see we've already arrived. <laughs> wow. Motorcycle go fast. Oh no. <laughs> I, I need to look at that sometime. Digital Witch says, by the way, the Wikipedia page for slurs is wild. <laughs> I can imagine. Okay, let me check, make sure everything on the motorcycle. Bike. Okay, air intakes. I need to clean that. Front fork brace. Headlight mount. 
So I got most on motorcycle. Okay, so what's the air intake? Let's look for that first. Which says, well, like, it's not just Euro American slurs, it's all of them. That's what I was guessing. Alongside their origins and who they're pointed at. That just sounds like a, a useful reason. Well, Got it. Okay. Ah, there's the air intake. Okay, there we go. What I got left for the bike. Okay, rear wheel axle, rear wheel guard. And that's it. Then I can come help you on your truck. Let's see honestly it's good to keep updated because there are so many that i never even thought of being slurs because of how generic they are i'll stop talking about stuff yeah that's the things like Slurs throughout history are very least like very bad racialized terms are like just normal ass words but applied in a specific context which makes them extra tricky Dirt. Now, the real question is, am I going to start losing my brain at the end of this, like yesterday? Yes. Place your bets now, <laughs> folks. Hear plus the snoring. I'm not sure if you can hear it through the mic. I cannot. Damn, there's just one part, and I don't know where I have to clean it from. The Shinra Hauler is a classic all-purpose vehicle that has always been an integral part of city life. Which is what you're doing. Yeah, I know. Oh, it may look clunky and unstable with this unusual three-wheel design. I assure you, it, its appearance bellies its true power. It looks awful. On an open freeway... The holder could theoretically keep pace with the Hardy Daytona, which goes up to 60 miles per hour. Why is there still dirt on this? There it is. Well, 
Bruh, the... The holler indicator lights on the side of the fucking... Uh, front fenders... Are counted separately. Oh. Finally! Oh my god! Yeah, I'm gonna switch my thing. So it's because I had a really a lot of tight spots, so I had to switch my nozzle. I've been mostly fixated on the fact that there's like dirt that I'm missing. On Man, if you think about it, we're at 84, well, 85 percent. Yeah. I mean, this wasn't going to take us long anyways. Yeah, it's just a couple cars. At first I thought it was just the motorcycle. I mean, if it was just the motorcycle, it would have been way faster. We just both tag-teamed the fucking motorcycle. <laughs> we tag-team a motorcycle. You wanna have a threesome with a motorcycle, Bright? Oh my gosh, it, it it's making me remind of a weird anime clip where all of a sudden this cute little anime, uh, high, I think it's a, a middle schooler, automatically turns into a fucking motorcycle out of nowhere. Ah, uh, that's, that's normal. <laughs> yeah. And there's also apparently an anime where this guy who can open up a soda cans and they turn into tiny anime women. <laughs> you mean like an anime or an anime game? Well, no, it's an anime. It's like an actual sh show you can watch. Because I, I feel like I've heard that exact premise, but like as a really shitty mobile game. Oh, there it is. It's on the inside. Okay, random. Oh my gosh, my Google search was still on butt buddies from last night. Random, but shout out to Witch for being one of the most helpful people in the world, by the way. Yeah, shout out. This is an official shout out to uh, good buddy Witch, who's a very helpful person. And is rad. Okay, I'm going to butcher the fuck out of this, but it's called Ak Akikan. It's an it's an actual thing. I see. Oh. Yeah, apparently how he found out he got the soda from the vending machine, tries to drink it, and poof, anime woman. <laughs> That's normal. <laughs> now I want to watch that. That's a, that's like such an absurd pitch. <laughs> well, I should be. I want to look up to see if it's on Crunchyroll. I highly doubt it. Fuck off, I'm not playing One Punch World. Oh? Alright, so what are we missing? Uh, all our wing mirrors, door handles, car door frame, or cab door frames, exhaust. Wait. I didn't clean all of these, huh? Break life. Digital witch puts a heart. Very good. Oh so wait, where is the dirt on this exhaust? That dirt. I may have found oh, out I... where it is. <laughs> I may have found out. Give me a moment. Break lights. Should be brake light done. Uh, tab door frame. So it's on the other side. Oh, 
Oh, wait. The to-do thing is right off to the side. Door handle. Oh. And... Wing mirror. You know what? I put the Japanese name in a punch roll. It might, it might have only just put the Jap English name in. Job complete. Nope, it's not a control. Alright, anyways. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you just see me constantly jumping on top of the motorcycle and running around it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, now we gotta clean this motherfucker. What motherfucker? I'm not sure if it'll take you immediately. Looks like it is. Yep. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> yep, we gotta clean all of this. It's wiggling its little hands. What the? Okay, so this is a thing. Oh, cool, we have scaffolding up here. I'm gonna get up on top. You start from the bottom. Okay. Blast this bitch from the bottom, right? phone could load I could probably find out where we can watch empty can that's its English name yeah it it aired from 2009 to 2009 very short season why <laughs> Almost as if it's one of the stupidest premises I've ever heard in my life. Oh my gosh, no streaming service has it. Probably no official one. I could probably find it on some of my... Oh yeah, no, you can. <laughs> yeah. I, I saw, like, a bunch of places where you can watch it, but, like, no, I guess none of them want that. <laughs> Apparently, it's a 39 out of 100 for ranking, uh, for, uh, average in, like, uh, IMDB audience. Uh, uh which... It's, a, uh, um, the English name is Open Can. It's the weird-ass anime where... Empty Can, not Open Can. Oh, Empty Can. Yeah, it's basically where a guy opens, opens up soda cans and they become anime women. Wait, that leads to an interesting premise. So if you open a soda can, does that mean you can... Uh, you can either date, marry, or fuck them. If they are other humans with agency, you have to engage with them like other humans. <laughs> that would be a really weird experience. Like, you come out in a real world, like, at, uh, in a new world, at the age of 18... Uh, and immediately someone says, now you have to marry me. Because <laughs> you came out of my soda can. Uh. <laughs> I would be like, what the fuck? I can totally see a bunch of people, like, immediately rushing to go to vending machines once they find out anime women can come out of soda cans. I mean, yeah, you have an entire subculture of fucking 
borderline incel tech of the best dude bros that are like constantly talking about how Elon Musk is going to make the first AI women, like the first robot wives, and it's going to make women quote unquote obsolete because they literally only view women as uh, fucking property things, not actual other people. Yeah, I hate to break this to Elon Musk, but Japan already beat him to it. Probably, yeah. No, I actually saw a video. Uh, they connect this robot-like thing, and they'll speak like your anime character you choose, and you can marry it. It's an actual thing. Which says, I want an AI husband. I want AI... I want my AI... AI husbands. Oh, yeah. You should be able to, like, move body parts. Wait, what? I want to remember it. Yeah, watch this. How'd you do that? I pressed F on it when I looked at it. Certain body parts can move. I remember that when I did this. <laughs> this is... No, no, okay, this is really <laughs> precarious. Yeah. Oh god, Andrew. <laughs> You don't anything fall. to get the, anything to get the job done. Hey, if you're available, I have a job for you in the Sector Seven Undercity. We're right here, doing a job. Oh, it's Tifa Lockhart. That said that. Oh yeah. Oh, fancy. I know. I've seen you're... her in a lot of things. <laughs> uh, Hey Digger says, it, uh, I know you're eager to know more about the Sentinel's Myred capabilities. Its tail is far deadlier than that of the creature it's modeled after. It's a six tapered legs, let it get straight to the point, if you will. Mm. And, and for those craven foes who want to shoot the scorpion at a distance, it has a Mark 98 cannons with Mark 99 launchers. I don't think what AI witch means. Says, AI witch, digital witch says, AI Hiago. <laughs> oh, okay. Landed on its back. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, did you see the thing in, in trigger warning, though? Uh, no, I didn't. What's up? Or, or can you we not talk about it here? Oh, we can. Basically, I, I, will, uh, I will censor some things. But, um, basically, um, this kid tells this small Santa that her, uh, I think it was stepdad, was, uh, S.A., Oh. And the mall stance and elves got together and beat the fuck out of him. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the lines was, <laughs> that Santa said, because I was put in an article, he said, Ho, oh, oh, ho, motherfucker. Ho, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, there's a reason I brought it up because there's a bunch of people on on Twitter says, "What if the girl's making it up and just made that guy ruin his life or whatever?" Like, what the fuck? Like, people are defending uh, the person who got beat up, basically, on Twitter. Yeah, that's 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 a thing that happens. Because as we all know, it's entirely normal for a child the language to describe having been fucking assaulted be able to describe it cleanly and clearly yeah Gar says Jesus yeah I mean at least the guy got beat the fuck out of and if uh, the father goes to prison he'll most likely end up dead 
or have a high chance of ending up dead. Because I'm not sure if you noticed like that, because that's one thing I I I have, because I I actually had to do a research paper on it for like a psychology class. Uh, prisoners will tend to either beat the fuck out of or kill people who uh, go after children when they go to prison. Yeah. Yeah, I know about that much. Yeah. So, that guy either got... If if the set that did go to uh, jail, he, he's probably getting beat the fuck out of, or dead. <laughs> either of the two. <laughs> what is this green shite? Uh, alien jizz. The only good thing from the prison system. Uh. <laughs> so, uh, change the topic. Hager says, but you, you think that we would stop there? Of course not. We also out fitted it with a close range EM field and self repair functionality with the with this bevy of features it's nigh unstoppable uh, can you add cleaning features <laughs> there's like what the fuck did they do <laughs> right like doesn't it like sometimes like what kind of gunk is on it I think that they will talk about it like in a, in a story sense. Like they didn't uh, say okay. the thing, like it was coal dust last time, remember? I, I'm sorry, but like brown dust does not look like coal dust to me, it looks like shit dust. Or, or just weird shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what the elves wanted you to think that was coal dust. That way they don't question why there's shit everywhere. <laughs> It'd be really nice if the scanner stopped fucking trying to clean it. There. I have cleaned its testicles. This thing has testicles? I mean, there's two wheel things right here, <laughs> so I just call it his testicles. <laughs> yeah. Now the robot no longer has AIDS. What? <laughs> How that works. <laughs> How the scanner antenna separately from don't worry about it. What do you mean to worry about it? It's literally our job to worry about. It. Stop looking at me. Yeah, I think there's only one thing I've never tested, which was um a uh, standing on the on the arm that you can move. And pressing the button to move it. I've n I don't think I've tested that. Like if it'll do anything. Like or if it'll kick you off. I mean, like uh, you just fall off. I've never tested it. It would be funny like if you're on the end and I raise it and it just flings you out of the map. <laughs> You good? Huh? 
Because you said you were trying to think and be... Oh, did I? Yeah. I heard you no, say I'm, I'm just... trying to think. <laughs> and in silence. <laughs> um, well, I mean, a part of it is just I am. Cause, like, what I'm thinking on is fucking cleaning. Yeah, we're actually doing this a lot faster than I thought we would. That is the efficiency of tag teaming it. It's three something. How do you? Oh yeah, I forgot the cameras con uh, constantly move. Yes, I literally talked about that like five minutes ago. Wow. It's thinking. called the scanner. I said I was cleaning the scanner. I asked the scanner to stop moving. It's scanning to see, to see if you have any STDs. Right. Eh. It kind of have to balance on it. Uh, ah! Oh my gosh, you were standing on air for me for a moment. I think I was on my screen too. You were Jesus. <laughs> no, I am not. Jesus walked on water. I, I don't know which deity walked on air. <laughs> I don't know, maybe... We have received reports of gang activity in Sector 5 Undercity, most likely Don Corono's lackeys. Okay, and I care as to why? I briefly considered deploying a scorpion against them, but realized they are in the definition of small fry. It would be a waste of company resources to eliminate them. <laughs> they were just gonna send a, a giant <laughs> robot to kill a few people. <laughs> Ancient Jesus 33. I don't like that. A much more fitting target would be those eco terrorists that go by the name Avalanche. Okay. Why are you telling your cleaning <laughs> all of this? If they want to poke the bear, they best be ready to deal with his claws. Okay. I literally just showed up to clean the stupid war machine. You know what would actually be funny? It's like, in real life, there's just one person who gets a power washing job. It's like, alright, time to deal with this shit. It comes into work and sees this needing to be cleaned. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. What? <laughs> Instead of it being green, it's red. Like, covered in red. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like, um, you know, I think I'm gonna go maybe call the cops for all the blood I'm seeing. <laughs> Specify that this was a military. You? Maybe, I don't know. What the fuck are the police gonna do? Arrest the people they murdered. <laughs> <laughs> it just fucking handcuffs the corpse. Yeah. I... Holy shit, we are at 74%. Fancy. In this game, really satisfying. I'm cleaning its ass.
<laughs> There's an Adam and casing. I literally am claiming it's ass. Oh man. Now, a real question on about that anime robot stuff they can do in Japan. Can you actually fuck the robots? Uh, he just imagine re fed you some uh, feel good tripe about his plans for a future Denny. Feel good tripe? What? He, he sees as the in like, hmm? as in like, uh, something that's like, I think he is. Yeah, it's not going to take us long. I think the main problem that's going to take us long is dealing with all the small shit. Like small spe specks of dirt. Let's not talk about that right now. Alright, how are you getting your dirt? Well, you shut the fuck up. <laughs> you remember when we went on like that? It's just saying dirt. <laughs> I do not. We did that for like one stream instead of saying the word dirt correctly, we just said dirt. It was during one of the yep. Minecraft th things. You say we as if I was participating. I feel like it was just you saying it. You also uh, you said dirt twice. Probably uh, the first time was probably to mock me, and then you probably s said it by accident. Probably. <laughs> but I like my dirt. Hmm. Hey, Hatches Chat, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you like dirt? You have your own chat to. Ass stupid shit. <laughs> no one's in my chat at the moment. Oh, rip. I've got three viewers. You stole all of them. Well. As if Gar and Witch would know any. or know anything about you without me. Uh, Witch says 30. <laughs> if we're going to immediately just now. Respond to my chat. Uh, Hatch is obviously the superior streamer, lol. Definitely not me lurking in both chats. Uh, okay, a bookworm on my end, it said uh, a viewer was of zero, which means Twitch didn't even count you on my end. Uh, <laughs> Apparently to Twitch, you do not exist. How do you feel? Be fair, the power had gone out for a second a bit ago, so it makes sense. Oh. Yeah, apparently I got a message from uh, Twitch today that they recently, again, updated the sexual content guidelines. Oh. I didn't okay. even dare check what it was. It's probably something stupid again. Unless Bookworm wants to summarize it. <laughs> the bubble sounds make me want to kill something. Why? I don't know. 
I just do. Cleaning its armpit of dirt. Yeah. Oh, I'm out of bubbles. If I was alone, it would probably take me all stream just to do this. I'd imagine, yeah. But with this like us lot. together, we're able to take this out pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah. Which is why well, definitely tomorrow when I, sh I have a, uh, not tomorrow, um, Friday when I have a collab stream with Lithics, I'm going to see if Lithics also has a uh, power wash simulator. Ah. Uh. Because then we get stuff way done way quicker. Then we get stuff way done way quicker. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Also, I was not bored last night and added more things to my throne because I'm too stupid. Instead of, instead of sleeping, I was looking at Amazon. Okay. I was watching the new Quentin Reviews video. It gets depressing. I have depression. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with finishing it. Oh, book. I'm already halfway through my second watching. You underestimate just how little life I have. What is that squelching sound? That's the machine moving. The machine makes that sound while it moves? Yeah. Well, mainly the scanner. But oh, that's just the scanner sound. Yeah. Okay. I think I see more slippers on your throne. No, you don't. You definitely don't see the description of the slippers. What slippers? Don't worry about it. I am worrying about it. Bookworm, do not tell Hatcha what the slippers are. Bookworm, what are the slippers? <laughs> Right, I'm gonna clean the butt. Oh, digital witch, digital witch says that they're the ones making the squelching noise. Why are you making that noise, witch? Oh, you can remotely lower the arm. Yeah. I thought you had to be close to it. Nope. Just have to fucking look at the thing. Mm -hmm. You don't want to know. I think I do want to know, which... So how long do you have the stream tonight? Oh, I see. I don't know. No, it's only in the... Oh, I'm not saying it. But, uh, uh anyway, the stream thing, uh... We can... Probably go till 12. Okay. So we got like two hours. Tomorrow we have no limits. We can play as long as we want. Yeah. Because I can sleep in tomorrow. Even though my dog always wants to wake up at fucking crack of fucking dawn at 6.30 a.m. Uh... Yeah, I'm talking about you, you little shit. The one who, who tore up my entire blanket again to make a fucking mess. Yeah, you. You act more like a bird sometimes than a dog. 
I still find they it take after their owner. Oh fuck off. I still find it funny that he carried around a ten pound weight and acted like it was a chew toy. Alright, why do you have blobfish slippers on your throne? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Why would you sacrifice the poor blobfish to your dog to chew on? What? That's not what I wrote on there. Book says, and the description says, I need this because my dog keeps eating my slippers. Yeah? I need new slippers. Yeah, just throw the dog to fucking eat them. Oh, the hand. Wait, can you move the hand? Wait, can you open the hand? I don't think so. I you could. I know that it occasionally opens on it. Every individual finger. Mm-hmm. You're getting so close. Yes! Oh my gosh, we got that. Oh, I cleaned its anus some more. Good for you. I'm good at going in, into people's assholes and cleaning them. Okay. <laughs> Gods, my... Gods, that's... How do you keep saying things <laughs> that remind me of that video? What video? The new Quentin's, Quentin Reviews video. Oh, I don't really watch Quentin Reviews, so... And this is where the clap ends, because Hatchet hates me for not watch, watching Quentin Reviews. Right, if I was going to hate you for anything, that would be the least of my worries. <laughs> yeah, there's like multiple clips of things that that if you were to hate me, that would be the reason. <laughs> like, if I was going to jump to hating you for something, I would have done it a long time ago. Like, for you to get me to hate you, you'd have to do some real, like, genuinely actual fucked up shit. Alright, uh, time to go murder some orphans. You know, the joke's only funny the first time you say it, right? Maybe. Wait. Rear casing exhaust? What part of I also added on Throne uh, a two terabyte flash drive because my computer does not like me downloading a bunch of horror games into it. A flash drive or hard drive? It's a flash drive. Oh. Uh. Because it, I find flash drives a bit easier to store. I mean, they're definitely easier to store. I just feel like hard drives are better. Especially if you're getting something with a lot of space. Well, I'm using them for the indie horror games, and, like, the biggest I've downloaded an indie horror game for is, like, 1.5 gigabytes. Eh. So it's not going to be very big. But yeah. 
Oh yeah. Bookworm. I'm shooting it up the ass. Bookworm, I never did ask. Uh, how was your holidays? Because I didn't how stream. Was your holidays? I didn't stream uh, uh, Christmas, that's why I didn't ask. I forgot to ask. Part of this fucking arm thing isn't clean. Uh, I'm sorry, I currently playing one of the games that got Fire Emblem Warriors. Oh uh, yeah, I, I, I showed Bookworm something. One of the things they got for uh, Christmas uh, was Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, yeah. How? Like, how is Fire Emblem as a game? I only know that game because of, well, the book's name, but also uh, some other things. I also don't know. Fire Emblem Three Houses is going to be my first Fire Emblem game I'm going to play. Visual <laughs> Witch says meh. Bookworm is going to have to be my coach and coach me through it. It's pretty standard RPG, TBH. Please do not start pushing me off of the ledge. <laughs> Ironically, I also haven't played Three Houses yet. Is J is RJP? Uh, God damn it! Is RPG strategy game with your use fight enemies? Where did I get a J? RPG. <laughs> yeah, RPG. I guess I could understand if you were trying to say JRPG. Oh, oh. Okay, what well still needs cleaned? Or you can hit the button to get the, um, flash stuff. I mean, yeah, I know that. Oh, there's a lot Claw right here. Oh. Both of the claw wrists still need done. Oh wait, the cl Oh, the claw opens. The claw doesn't- the claw still stays shut. Fucking hell. Who designed this thing? Don't tell Hatchet I'm- okay, never mind. What is Bookworm doing? It's not Bookworm. Oh, it's not Bookworm? Nope. I'm not saying a single word, so I promise not to tell. You didn't promise anything. You literally just about immediately said it. Bookworm, do not rat them out. Rat who out? Who are you talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Seriously, how do we get to these fucking wrists? Fire Red Emblem says nothing. Oh, wait, I think. This is. Oh, wait. Oh uh, yeah, the call wrist needs to be done. Yeah, I've been trying to hit these wrists for forever. 
But how... How does one do the claw wrist? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah! Okay. I figured out the strat. Got it. Wait. Wait, did you? No, I no, said you did, did not. You, I said, do you got it? Oh, That's, oh, it yeah. sounded like you said got it. Yeah. Nothing has happened. No worries. Yeah, that's 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 real convincing, book. Shoulders? Which of the shoulders still needs cleaned? Oh, th there goes that shoulder. Uh, field generator hoods. The fuck is a field generator? Oh, hood? I found a field generator area. It's the anus. Okay, then. Then, yeah, look around there. And I just saw a white thing. What is this? Leg well. This whole thing. I'm still not finding where the fucking field generator hood is. We. Wish we could move the legs. Oh, oh God! That I got a uh, one. Of, I got something. It was over here. Yeah, you got the um, uh, leg well. Yeah, the I still can't find the goddamn field generator hood. Oh wait! I saw for a quick moment. Apparently a lot needs to be cleaned. Okay, I gotta fucking head up there. Headlight done. Uh, help me with the fuel generator hood thing right here. Right fucking there. Oh, never oh, mind. There we go. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> just, the robot just looking at us like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Ready to continue? Yeah. Oh, the next area uh, is a bar. Fun. Wait till you see what the bar looks like. Is it a medieval bar? Oh, God. <laughs> yep. Uh. <laughs> they, what was this? The elves went from taking a shit in the workshop to here. Well, I'm gonna start by cleaning this really fancy sword that I know uh -oh. from. Tifa Lockhart, it's so upsetting to see the bar looking like this. I know it's not the fanciest, but it's like home to us and our regulars. A place for people to get homemade food and escape the daily grind. Loud Buster Sword. That's what this thing's called. Loud Buster Sword is clean.
I dare you to hit the the check everything. Ah! <laughs> flashbang. <laughs> Self-induced flashbang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I got the Ow. jukebox. Nice. I got Cloud's Buster Sword. Yeah, well, while you're messing around with your sword, I got his music. Think I care about the music? I also got his darts. Cool. Uh, I got us a couple posters. We got Station Edge Building, Sector 8 Parking Structure, Saturday and Sunday, 8 a.m. to 12 a.m. And Go Kobo Show. Okay. I'm working on a very special machine right now. Clean the pinball machine quick. We gotta play pinball bright. We gotta go under, I believe, or something. Yeah, what do you think I'm doing? Oh god, the squelching. I think it's just us walking around in the muck. There we go. Yes, the cock yeah. and ball, uh, pinball machine is done. The, what do you mean, cock and ball? <laughs> it very clearly <laughs> says gold time pinball. Yeah, what so. is your problem? It's a, the cock and ball torture pinball machine. <laughs> it is not the CBT <laughs> pinball machine. I wonder if it's ever been made. <laughs> It most certainly has. I, I I will I would bet money on it. All right, I'm gonna clean it up. Lower wall. Google's gonna ask, why the fuck am I searching for this? Think Google gives a shit? The answer to that is yes, because they sell your information to advertisers. I'm not seeing it. <laughs> Damn. Hold on. Oh my gosh, this is gonna show up on my search thing for Amazon, but I don't care. I, I looked it up, and the first thing that comes up is a bunch of items from Amazon that are called the Penis and Testicle Crusher. Like, different versions. <laughs> are they sex toys? Yes. Okay. And the second thing I see is, Pinball Torture Chest, number 11, The Spirit of 76, episode 11, no extra ball for you. What the fuck? I don't know. I mean, like, the first thing makes, like, a lot of sense because you literally just typed in cock and ball torture to Amazon. Well, what the fuck's up with that second part? I don't know. Oh, wait, you know what? You clean out here. Is there a kitchen? I don't know. Well, there is a kitchen. I just can't go back anywhere. Yeah, so I'll focus on this area over here. Yeah, I was just basically going to get the items first. Because when you do that, you get, like, most of the wall done and floor done, too. That's fair. That. I like the soap. I'm just fucking using this soap dispenser like it's a flamethrower. Nice. Oh, 
Oh, I'm out of soap. Ah. Oh my god, these two boxes are Hi, counted Jerry. separately. Hi. Oh, hey, Jerry. Honestly, I don't know if I'll want to play Minecraft tomorrow. Really? Yeah, we might, might, might just fill up to doing this. Maybe because this is a lot easier in a Santa's workshop. <laughs> well, not quite that. Like, I do like the game, it's just like, towards the end of last night, everything, like, my brain just broke. It, it's okay. Sometimes, sometimes that can happen. Right. I hate how some objects are put so close behind a wall that it's like literally impossible to try and get one side of dirt off. I know, it's it's very frustrating. I got this door. Oh, finally. As you can see, Jerry, someone took... The elves quit doing a mess of shit in a workshop and went to uh, the Final Fantasy bar. Uh, I don't think that's what happened. If I remember correctly, when I did this by myself, I think it took me two streams to do this. Oh, damn. Well, and then again, I was by myself. I mean, yeah. I mean, we're already at 16%. Okay, I'm gonna clean up all the little shits in the kitchen. There's gonna- I think there's a lot of shit in the kitchen. Yeah, I am already seeing as much. Oh my god. How is there just as much grime on the walls behind things as there is on the walls in general? Don't worry about it. Let's see, nothing's happening. You should set up subs at some point. I mean, yeah, I intend to. Like, to do that, I have to get affiliate. Once once I can go affiliate, I will go into that process immediately. But I need a hundred, or not a hundred, fifty subscribers. You need followers. Yeah, followers. This isn't YouTube. <laughs> Fucking hell. YouTube's a lot harder to get money off of. <laughs> And I somehow made it. I'm still yeah. shocked that I made it. Didn't they lower the res like the uh, requirements more recently? Yeah, you had to get 500 subscribers as well. Um, is either have 10 million short views or uh, 1,000 views on the video. Damn. So like, it is still way more difficult to. On YouTube and Twitch. Yeah. Yeah. Keep on luck, Art. I would love to punch those goons right in their dumb faces. Probably wouldn't even have the needed any materia. Speaking of which, you do know what materia and maka, right? You do know about materia and maka. What the fuck? No. I no, no random person from Final Fantasy. We do not know how Final Fantasy works. Uh, uh, I kinda. You. I kinda do, but anyway. Mako is the lifeblood of our planet and every living thing on it. The Gotcha, I will share stream with my cats so they can follow. <laughs> yeah, the, the I... ancients thankfully learned how to crystallize it and that's what we call materia. Anyway, sorry. Thank you, witch. Although I highly doubt that Hats count. I was so tempted to see if I could 
uh, create a second account, just call my 12 cats and just become a follower of that. Oh, for shit. fuck's sake. <laughs> I would immediately ban you. <laughs> but I think I would have to get, like, a new email and all that. Yeah. It'd be a very dedicated prank. Oh, Jerry, I want to show you a really good machine right here. You see this right here? Jerry? Huh? You see this machine right here? Yeah. It's the uh, yeah. cock and ball torture pinball machine. You know, Jerry you has eyes. Crazy bullshit about Santa's workshop. This isn't Santa's Workshop, this is a Final Fantasy map. Oh! Yeah, there was only one thing for uh, for Santa's Workshop, after, which was what we cleaned. And I don't think we're ever going to go back there again. <laughs> I don't want to go back there. That's fair, but also, I had no idea they did Final Fantasy. Yeah, they did Final Fantasy, um... And they did Harry Potter at one point, but it looks like they it got taken off. Good. Yeah, but um, they also have Back to the Future recently, and SpongeBob recently, and uh, Tomb Raider. I still can't see the Final Fantasy theming. You know how many games have that sort of sword at this point? <laughs> Fair. But that is, I mean, that person we're, that's hiring us is Tina Lockhart. Oh! Yeah, <laughs> this is Tina Lockhart's bar. It definitely looks a lot more different than the bit version. Not bit, but the earlier version and the first version of the game. Yeah. It was a lot smaller in that game. Yeah, and I more rundown I, looking. I forgot which one. I know I have the remake version. But, um... The remake is different than the original. I No, um... It, it different... It, I was, think, I was going to talk about a different uh, Final Fantasy game. Uh, uh... My favorite all-time Final Fantasy game is where you get this, uh... Woman who can literally summon magical beasts to fight for you. I forgot That's what called a summoner. Yeah. Which one with the summoner do you like? Um, I don't know. I, I know she could summon, like, Ifrit. Um... That's common. Huh? That's common. Um, the there, there was this death god thing that would kill anything in one hit. I forgot its name. Are you talking about the Final Fantasy game where you play Cecil? Maybe. All I know is that one of your party members uses a, a fucking ball to fight. I feel like I'm listening in on some of the most cracked out shit right now. No, that actually is a character. There's a character in Final Fantasy that uses a ball to fight. I mean, I wasn't doubting that. It's so weird. I was just saying this sounds cracked out. Yeah. But the only thing that sucked about that game is like right after the end when you beat a uh, Sin. That was that was the final boss, which you find out is your father. Don't question it. <laughs> you had to fight I all the. You had to fight all the spirits again, but you had to kill them, including the Death God if you got the Death God, who basically one-shots everything. You had to fight it. Rip. I beat it eventually, but it was I had so many Phoenix Downs.
Oh, didn't see a Steam notification right now. Wait, what? What happened? Huh? Oh, Mouse was gonna stream soon, but apparently Steam notified Bookworm about it before Chu streamed. <laughs> oh no. That's hilarious. Bookworm, you definitely have to tell Chu that. That Steam notified about the stream before the stream started. And then you have to tell us what they say. So we won't be there. Alright. I'm cleaning a Barrett gun. What did you just say? It, it's called Barrett's Gambling Gun. I'm cleaning a Barrett gun. Oh. Yeah, it, it's only like Barrett's gun. <laughs> <laughs> fuck hatchet. Uh, fuck having fish and chips. We're having eggs and chips. Okay. That's a sign that up fine. here. That's, okay. That's why I was laughing. I was laughing because uh, people like eating fish and chips. Are you cleaning back there where I've gotten most of it? I was cleaning the little items you left behind. Like I said, I'm going what? after items. Yeah, you didn't get this painting, didn't get that painting, and you didn't get this. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> you left the items. <laughs> oh, we do have a ladder. Wait, do ah! you... Oh, you also see the blue stuff. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, why... Why... Oh, I accidentally cleaned the wall while I was trying to clean a painting. Rip. There, I cleaned your items. We have a second pinball machine. It's called Chlamydia. I noticed that. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> Oh, is it Tifa's bar? Yeah, this is Tifa's bar. And we're cleaning it way faster than I thought we would. I thought this would take us a while. We're all, we're going through this pretty fast. Magic. Imagine accidentally cleaning something. <laughs> it's like all of a sudden, like you're you're. You're trying to like fi fix food or something. It's like, oh shit! I accidentally cleaned this plate. Oh well. Mr. Clean, if he was in My Hero Academia, <laughs> his quirk is literally just making things immediately spotless. That would be such a useful quirk. If that was your quirk, then what would be the drawback? Because it seems like all the quirks have some drawback one way or another. You would probably, like, in order to get, like, water or something, you would have to take moisture from the air or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. So basically, to clean things, you'd need to have water nearby? Oh, that would make sense. Then you'd be, like, putting the dirt in the water. That would be useful. You'd be the world's best janitor. Man, that would be awesome. Yes, I got the pinball machine. Oh, 
Oh wow, you know how they told uh, said about draining Mako and uh, whatever the other thing was uh, from the uh, er, uh, from the planet or whatever? Mm -hmm. Apparently the more they drain, the more they destroy the planet. Oh, okay. Sounds similar. <laughs> what a good idea. No wonder there's eco-terrorists. I wonder why eco-terrorists would exist in a world that's literally killing the environment for power. Yeah, and there's a central plot of Final Fantasy VII. Ah. Uh. Wait, so who do we side on, uh, Zanchu? The eco-terrorist or the government? The eco-terrorist! Oh, good. I think the game I was thinking of, like, the summoning the monsters as well as the... the ball throwing guy i think it was final fantasy 10 because I, I know that you were thinking of final fantasy 5. what no wait i actually had the game hold on you've had the game this entire time and you didn't just stop the speculation and go grab it hold on i'm gonna look i'll be right back Catch why it. would he screen. tell us uh That's a fucking girl. Well, it fits her, right? Like, oh, by the way, Tiggy! You have got to be kidding me. Why can't you just move these buckets? Okay, good. You can get on the other side. Okay, I looked at it. It's Final Fantasy X, which I believe is 10. Yes, right. X is the Roman numeral for 10. Yeah, because I actually got a description. In Final Fantasy X, the summoner Yuna and our guardians take a pilgrimage to receive the blessing of each Aeon in order to defeat Sin, which I talked about earlier, be defeating Sin. So, yeah. Uh, That's the game I was thinking of. That's, like, literally my favorite. That has unbeatable death god. Except when I beat him. <laughs> it took me, I think, like, four hours. Because I had to use so many phoenix downs. A revival item, in case you didn't, don't know Hatchet. Uh, I can't say I particularly care. Fair. All I know is that this, this right here, right. All I know is that this right here is one of the stupidest fucking swords imaginable. <laughs> what, cloud sword? <laughs> yes. It, it, I, I believe it actually gets bigger. 
Oh, damn. Fancy. Oh, I didn't need to use that. Hey. Oh my gosh, this slightly bothers me. Hatchet, look at this. Are you standing in place? What? What's up? Over here next to this pinball machine, this sign. Okay. I'm used to eyes having the two lines on uh, one on the top and one on the bottom. So to me, it kind of looks like P-L-Z-Z-A. <laughs> That's Lizza. a you issue. The pizza is fine. It looks like Plizza to me. <laughs> it's not their fault you're stupid. I fixed the sign. <laughs> you're just staring at me. <laughs> What How the fuck do you change your wardrobe, by the way? Why? Because I bought some gloves yesterday. I honestly don't know. Oh, wait, right there, clothing. Hatchet oh, is what? officially learning something you have not. Bam. Now I have these f fancy pink gloves. Get on my level. Right, you said that you didn't know how to dress, and now you're dressing. I'm seeing. Oh. Oh, they gave. They're giving out a winter outfit for free. Yeah, I know. All right, now how do I put them on? Uh. Uh, whatever button you use to bring up your gun's attachments, uh, it'll say current loadout, and then there's a tab that says clothing. Oh yeah, it does. It's Christmas time, Hatchet. I would hate to be you after this. <laughs> you're 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 walking around in here. In fucking knit clothing, knit a knitted sweater. That thing so? is never going to be the same. Oh my God! Each one of these boxes are counted separately. Nice. So, bro, you said you need to go here in about, like, what, an hour and ten minutes or so? Yeah. Okay. Because I might just keep streaming some uh, Darkest Dungeon in that case. If y'all in my chat want to uh, watch some Darkest Dungeon after this, assuming I'm up to it. Which is to say, assuming this stream doesn't break me like yesterday's did. Like how you, you just jinxed yourself by saying that. He didn't drink, jinx himself, I think. I stand on the sword. Did you put up your ass? Right. <laughs> you just slowly turned towards me. <laughs> Bright, what kind of woman are you? A horny one. No, you're not. <laughs> just... See, I'm getting wet now. <laughs> Gods, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I thought of that yesterday. <laughs> you, you have to admit, that was a bit clever, Hatchet. More clever than what I usually do. That's how hardcore before. It's yesterday. Honestly, I don't know what breaks talking about don't worry about it 
we we just played this meaning one of the many times we fucking shot each other with our pictures. we were just making each other wet Will you shut up <laughs> Wow, Bookworm actually thought of the wet thing before, but, but <laughs> they kept it to themselves and they didn't say it yesterday. Good job, Bookworm. You met an incredibly low bar that is having more restraint than bright. Uh, yep. Now uh, you get to enjoy some cock and ball torture from the pinball machine. Why is it? Oh, there it is. Television clean. That's oh this. Oh my gosh, just ceiling lights, you have to clean the inside where the light bulb is too. Oh yeah, I just cleaned some and cleaned something like that. Because it's an incredibly smart idea to shoot a turned on hot light bulb a high pressure water shooter. I literally almost took out one of my eyes when I was a kid doing that. I actually tricked my parents that I was sick by um, putting uh, the, uh, the because I didn't want to go to school that day, I put the thermometer, attached it to the light bulb, wait till it got to 100, removed it, it went off, <laughs> and then they believed it. Which says, I am a turned on hot light bulb. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. It's a very kinky light bulb. Bar shelf, bar cabinet. Getting all these annoying fucking lights out the way. Gee. Okay. Let me just fucking spray high pressurized water at a fucking radio. It means my sense of humor hasn't advanced since middle school. <laughs> So you're remarkably similar to Bright, apparently. No, except my humor hasn't changed since I was born. Yes, it has, you stupid <laughs> something, something, something. Uh, stupid, kinky ass, big ass bitch. No, no, you will never hear me say that word. <laughs> will you call me a big ass bitch then? No! <laughs> and Bookworm redeemed to praise the bright's ass. I love you, Jerry. I love you too, you psychopathic woman. Can I have a knife, Jerry? 
I'm pretty sure you have multiple knives at this point. You live in a house. But can I have a knife that shocks people? Because I saw that on the internet. Right? That sounds like something you'd hurt yourself with. But can I have it? <laughs> no! Mokram also said no. You are that child in the vine who is running with a knife. And Jews is the person yelling no. <laughs> And Bookman says we heard a mom yelling no. I'm a dad. Oh god. Uh, now I'm calling myself your goddamn dad. I think we have two dads. Jesus. Well, actually, wait a minute. If Jiri's my dad, does that mean all of Jiri's Huns are my dads? <laughs> <laughs> Your, the numbers of dads have just increased exponentially. Oh, don't say that. Don't say that. I can just like meet someone for the first time. It's like, uh, so how many dads I have? Uh, let's just say it's more than eight. So is that true, Jerry? If you're my dad, are all your Hans are my dad too? Let's just count me. <laughs> you don't want to think about it, do you? <laughs> Oh yeah, book. Um, my brain just died. Fuck. If I do stream Darkest Dungeon when Bright's, you gonna be able to stick around for it? Be going to bed around then as well. Okay. So after I think I get this bit of wall right here, I think I will clean the ceiling. Cool. Yeah, I think I'll do some darkest dungeons when we're done. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Fat fucking bitch. There we go. I like how none of you responded by calling myself a fat fucking bitch. Supposed to? Nah. That's this. But it depends on what type of fat. Why does that even- what? <laughs> because there's some people who spell fat, the uh, F-A-T, and some people spell it uh, P-H-A-T. Those are generally used in different contexts. <laughs> right. P-H-T version generally used to, like, edit the sound. Primarily seen it used for like porn categories. <laughs> Look at this fat ass bitch. <laughs> Sorry. Where's a mirror? I need to say that to myself while I'm looking at a mirror. Is it normal to call yourself a fat ass bitch? 
right, you know what, right, let me just say something. <laughs> if you thought up, it's not normal. <laughs> so probably not. That's a good rule of thumb. You hype yourself not a little because so honestly, Because honestly, almost nothing that happens in our friends group is normal in any. Which is fine, because normality is lame. Did you even imagine me pain. being normal? Like, never using Stender? What? Not using length attachments today? Why are you claiming to sound? This is my job, you bitch. I just wanted to push you off the counter. How dare you? How dare you push off a fat bitch off the counter? <laughs> I took that away from you. Normal? I was normal once. They put me in a room. <laughs> so we actually may finish this before midnight. Yeah. I'm not sure if there's anything after this, though. I will say Hatchet, uh, the one in the, like, the story thing for the Power Wash Simulator. The worst one I've ever had to do was, um, the skate park. Oh, yeah, I think I remember, like, catching the tail end of you doing it. Yeah, because you had to use different nozzles to get rid of different types of grime because it was too tough. I mean, that's kind of, like, been the case with various spots already. Except that it, it was, like, a, a sparrow-sized spot, and you had to use, like... Uh, hold on, let me get the nozzle. This type of nozzle, to get it all off. Yeah. Now it's annoying as fuck. Then again, I'd never use soap. I use soap a little bit of the thing. Yeah. Why wouldn't you use soap? Because it kills uh, germs, which I am. <laughs> You're not a germ. <laughs> you need to use soap. But what if it kills me, Jerry? It won't kill you! <laughs> Fun fact. Literally anything has the potential to kill you. Yeah. That's true. If you wash yourself or wash with soap, then technically you won't kill yourself or hurt yourself if it's the right soap. But if you eat it or drink it, then yes, you'll die or get sick. Oh, so you call me a dirty girl, huh, bookworm? I see how it is. Mm -hmm. I don't like this conversation. <laughs> they I said, you like soap, you dirty, dirty girl. That's what he said. I stand by my statement. I don't like this conversation. <laughs> I also do not like... <laughs> ...the conversation. That's fair, Jerry. But do you also see the, the, the white stuff when I hit it? What? Oh, so you don't see it flash. I, I see it flash. It looks kind of weird. The yeah. black turns white and it looks fucking weird. So how, how did, you, did you just spray bright? Yeah, I'm spraying bright with the dope nozzle. They're just making me yeah. wet. Hatchet, what's your stance on soap? Uh, soap, 
Very good. Good soap. You soap. So good. So, Hatchet and Soap are in a loving relationship. No. Don't make it weird. <laughs> I was doing that. I was doing like a Facebook thing. So, Cause as I Don't swear. Don't make that weird. Don't make it weird. Saying it like that makes it weird. No, I actually remember one time on Facebook seeing uh, someone say, I'm in a relationship with hand sanitizer. <laughs> Controversial stance, I see. Yeah, I... No, it's a little controversial, but I am pro-soap. That's not controversial unless you're bright. It's apparently controversial in my I'm chat. I'm pro hand to sanitizer. Which. Well, anyone who argues against soap is arguing for death. Not That's if I use hand question. sanitizer. You got to keep in mind, the people in my chat are probably, like, almost always going to be extremely sarcastic bitches. Uh, valid. Like, right. I'm Yay! Not sure I have people like me. Twitter on. Hey, there's more me in the world. Don't say what? that. <laughs> Don't say what? there Give are me more me's in the world. Come on, book. Wait, I just realized I could make more me in a world. I just have to go to a sperm bank. Even though that wouldn't work for me. What? Oh, Hatchet, did you forget? Because I told, I told everyone in the group. Like, uh, it showed in my DNA testing that I was highly likely to be infertile. I got, oh, I, ne I never said I got checked. Yeah, I oh, got yeah. checked. And yeah, I am infertile. Rip. Well, it's not like I wanted to make kids anyway, because I don't want to pass down my shit. That I, I mean, let's just be, let's just be entirely frank. It is an incredibly gross, constant standard in our society that the ability to have children is deemed such an incredibly important thing. I just like, um, uh, okay, I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything more because it can sound really bad. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? I, I just right? want to be a parent at some point. That's what I'll say. It. That that's fine. No, well, I was right. gonna I was gonna phrase it in a different way, and it was gonna sound so fucking bad. <laughs> we know you're stupid. That's fine. I think Hatchet got what I was gonna stupid. say. No, I didn't. I'm a oh. uh, witch in my chat. Said, "Damn, I had to pay for the infertile update." <laughs> Thank you, book. I'll take care of the rest. So I'm sorry, me? Hatchet. You and me can't make children. Why would I... Uh... Right! Bad. Sometimes you do take jokes just a touch too far. Sorry. My bad. You're good. Missed my moment just barely. Ha! <laughs> Screw you, book. I don't even know what you people were gonna clip. Oh, probably the soap thing. I got bonked by book arm makes you feel happier. Okay. Okay, yeah, seeing how it's at 77% and we're at 1109, we'll definitely see what's next. I don't... I don't think I actually passed Tifa's bar. Like, I think or I finished it and just left. There might just be nothing after it. Maybe. I feel like there was. 
I think there was like a, a really big thing that I decided, fuck that, it's gonna take me multiple streams. I'm gonna do some easy shit. <laughs> oh, okay. But I can't remember. I can't believe how amazing the place looks, and you're not even finished. Okay, that means we can leave. Uh, right, let's go, Hatchet. <laughs> we ain't leaving until this place is spotless. <laughs> she said it was. It looks amazing, though. Right. That's and she also there. said you're not even finished. I need to help. I need to help with final preparations for that job in sector one, so I gotta run. But I'll have Cloud come in and blah blah blah. Have Cloud do what? I don't know. It it went off, so I didn't get to see. Yeah. I didn't get to see what Cloud was gonna do. Well, I'm sure there's lots of things her and and Cloud do together. Especially if you. Uh, look at the stuff that I've seen. Rule 34. Literally all I know about Final Fantasy is primarily pulled from porn. I wonder if Chocobo is on Rule 34. What? It's a giant yellow bird in Final Fantasy. There's no way it's not. Have you heard of furries? <laughs> If there's a if if of course it's going to have porn of it. Do you not know what rule thirty four is? If 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 it exists, there's porn of it. Exactly. Wait, does that mean there's porn of me? <sighs> not of you specifically. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jerry. Why are you sorry? Oh, I thought that's that this topic question. was upsetting you. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know that was. Right. If it was upsetting me, I would have said something. Fair. Hey, Hatchet, look at the ceiling. It's mm. not clean yet. Did I do good? I put an H on the floor. You're a twat. Oh, <laughs> I'll do your floors now. Okay. Uh, I didn't get the beams, though. Yeah, I saw that. I was working on one of the beams. Oh, <laughs> which says there is now scribbles frantically. I assume to the question of whether or not there's porn of you. Uh, that's the question. How would you f you feel someone made rule 34 of your character? Honestly, um, as long as you didn't do things a bit weird, like basically do elite a legal type of porn with, with my character i i would feel i would not like that but i really don't care like if you just have your oc fuck my character i don't give a shit a legal type of porn right that's too fucking vague fuck. you know how much especially fucking with... art exists especially when we're talking about fictional stuff there's shit like where people get turned on by characters being turned into literal balloons. Let alone inflation, which is different than the balloon shit. Yeah. I was talking. I, I was Jay mainly. I was mainly talking about the, the thing that I saw on one hint hentai site that I reported on, which was uh, there was a tag. That was literally stated as elementary school. I mean, again, if it's literally just drawings, who cares? Fair. Yeah, just tell people. 
what you would and wouldn't be comfortable with, but in a different spot besides the walking simulator. Like, would you be fine with your character eating poop? I think mo oh, I wouldn't. I, I, would, I would probably laugh. Okay. I would we're, probably we're going on the laugh. scat porn train, bright. I would laugh if I if someone sent me that. I I would and wanted me to sign it. I would. <laughs> I think I think it takes a lot to make me uncomfortable with a porn drawing or whatever of my character. I think it takes a lot. Man, I thought the scat would scare you, but no, it did not. No. <laughs> Bright's the one who at one point just randomly threw out the statement diarrhea smoothie. Why would scat porn scat? Okay, that's fair. Yeah, I remember that. Because, like, the Irish slang word for, for uh, diarrhea was ass juice. <laughs> and, and when Hatch asked me, like, At, what's ass juice? I just said diarrhea smoothie. That's what my brain went to. <laughs> I will say, though... I forgot what I was gonna say. But yeah, the major thing is like... The unfortunate state of reality when it comes to... Like, fan art of literally anything... Mm -hmm. Is... You have literally no control over what happens once your character reaches... Something beyond... Just our dumb little streams. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think it's inherently a bad thing, either. I will say I'm slightly glad that my character, Rattler, will probably never become that popular. That's valid, Nobody's yeah. Nobody's gonna do weird shit with him. To me, like, the biggest thing with, like, if you're gonna be, like, doing some really weird art, like, weird writing, as long as it's, like properly tagged so that people aren't going to be just stumbling across it i don't think i could care less yeah i think uh another thing that i saw that was like i i'm not sure if i, I probably would feel uncomfortable if you draw my character fucking them uh german party members <laughs> well yeah <laughs> let's just be frank i i think anyone with half a brain would be made uncomfortable with that. Yeah, I would 100% feel uncomfortable and would, and rather... Yeah, would not. I'm uncomfortable with art like that, although sadly, I used to have a friend that was briefly obsessed with the idea of drawing art like that when I was in, like, 5th and 6th grade. I don't know. Why? I, should... I don't know. Yeah. Hopefully this conversation isn't triggering to anyone in chat. Bookworm just leaves and never speaks to us again. I would be sad if he did that, but I would understand. So I have a feeling that basically anyone in my chat being a uh, witch, Gar, and Book, they probably all know my Got stances. It. On Got the floor. Fictional stuff. I got the floor. floor right, like, I saw I cleaned the piss and shit off the floor. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna turn the volume down. I think I'm waking Spood up. Hey Spood, if you hear me. Penis. Right, don't try to wake up my sibling. <laughs> I would just laugh if, if the one thing that woke Spood up was just me saying the word penis. Right. I turned my volume down anyway. <laughs> you little shit. <laughs> Garden says, I have to hear your stances again. My general stances are thus. If it is entirely fictional, 
I don't give a shit. Basically. <laughs> My ears are bleeding. What? What? Why are your ears bleeding? What's wrong? Gar? Oh, they must have heard, uh my memoir on how not to keep your sanity uh. apparently what <laughs> hey gar uh i have a question for you would you like to join uh the church of assholeology Oh, Gar said, if I have to hear your stances again. No, I have my stances that sloths are actually good swimmers, and I'm unsure how I feel about that. Oh. But don't they rarely ever swim? Gar, is yeah, that to say that you just... Are you the leader of the church? Yes. Wh I... Wait, what happened? <laughs> Gar, I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about in my chat right now. Okay, Hatchet, I said earlier, hey, Gar, would you like to join the Church of Assholeology? Oh. Bright why? It's, it's an amazing book. It helps teach you the most important things to do in life. How to be an asshole. Gar says, yes, I want to join the church. Can I be a nun? Yes. <laughs> I asked my question, Gar, is that to say that you just uh, don't like having conversations about that sort of stuff? Like controversial art? Did, did you get your uh, answer that you wanted, Bookworm, that I'm pretty much fine with mostly whatever? It's just that certain things are probably going to make me uncomfortable. And I'm probably not I'm not going to have any control over it, because people are people. Oh no, I'm actually not bothered by it. Okay, just wanted to be sure. That's the biggest thing, is like, I think that like when it's entirely fictional, like I could not care less... When we start getting into real person fiction, that's where I'm like, at the very least, somewhat more hesitant. I'm kind oh. of like, not quite sure how I feel about it. Speaking of that, that made me remind me of this one fucked up uh, Twitch streamer. He drew uh, Keemstar's oh, okay. kid. Oh yeah, I heard about that. That's just... Uh... Yeah, that was nasty. Drawing yeah. real you... people doing things like that is different. Yeah, like, let's... Basically, like, real person fiction is, a, like, is generally considered, like, a genre where it's, like, you write about a celebrity doing this thing, and then you put it in a specific place. What you're describing is just outright harassment, which is notably different. He also real did it person... to Hillary Clinton, too. I think that's less of an issue because, like, um, Hillary Clinton is significantly less likely to ever see it. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, true. But, like, like drawing art of a real-life person, even more so drawing art of a real-life minor like that, there is nothing, there's no way to describe it other than sexual harassment. I wonder if Keemstar ever took, like, legal action. Not sure. I mean, That's I would. definitely not okay, Art. I 100% yeah. would. What'd you say, Bright? I said I would 100% take legal action <laughs> if it were uh, me. Yeah. It's yeah that kind gross. of feels like threatening their kid at that point. Yeah, like, that's... Yeah. Like, it's real person. Than adults. It's weird and creepy when they do it to full grown adults, but kids, that's, that's something else. No. Yeah. 
And, like, that's the thing. Like, real person fiction, like I said, I'm kind of iffy on it. But it's, like, if it's done correctly, like, it's it's off in its own little corner where, like, to find it, you have to actually search it out. I don't have that big of an issue with it. It's just, like, in that case, that's not even comparable to standard real person fiction because it's an active attempt at harassment. Yeah, there's uh, speaking of another thing, uh, there actually was a site that was shut down because it would take people's faces and put them on uh, porn, uh, porn stars. Oh, oh gods, yeah, I've seen stuff about that. Society is just fucked up at times. It really is. All the different ways... Like, that's something that, like, I kind of talked about with my therapist at some point. Is, like, I think one of the most fascinating things to realize when looking through history is it feels like 90% of a human in a... Mm-hmm. ...with each other or to kill each other. Yeah. The duality of man. They're trying to struggle up the ladder. We keep pushing each other oh, off. Are we? Oh, we, we were both trying to get up the ladder? <laughs> yes! I was wondering what the fuck was happening. <laughs> there needs to be more than one ladder. But yeah, point being, like, I think there is a stark difference between those two sorts of things. Yeah, like I said, it, 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 it pretty much would take something that's would make most people uncomfortable, to would make me uncomfortable. Yeah. So that means, go ahead, Bokron, draw a point of my character, I don't give a shit. I hope you know that now I'm highly tempted to just draw, like, the stupidest fucking Google Paint porn of you. Do it, I don't give a shit. We almost done with this place. And a half hour early. Now yeah. we just have to deal with this fucking elevator mechanism. Wait, why did they put an elevator in a bar where the pinball machine is? I would imagine that this is like... Like, this here is an elevator. This whole part. It literally says elevator platform. So, like, it's for going up and down between floors. Yeah, you just play pinball while going down. Pinball machine might be there to kind of uh, distract from the fact that there's a fucking elevator there. Got it! I got the elevator mechanism. It was a pain nice. in the ass, but I got it. It's so hard to tell what's left. There's like some dirt up here on these rims. Got it. Oh, got that one. Got that one. Okay. Something. Ceiling light holders. We got one that needs to be done. And one um, ceiling light. Back bar cabinet light? The fuck is that? Wait, there's a pot that hasn't been fully cleaned. Oh, under here. I, s I thought I cleaned all the floor. Is that
Oh yeah, that fucking box was getting on my nerves. Okay, I need to change my extension. There's this little bit of dirt right there? there. Yeah. I'm not seeing it. I've gotten it. Oh, and there's just like little specks of dirt along Got the it. area. Got the staff area floor. Oh, okay. There was, it was just it like was little right specks. Oh, no. There was like a bunch of uh, specks that I was cleaning along this way, too. Yeah, there's some right here, right behind this box. This area was such a bitch. Bar, there's still, wait, there's still dirt on the bar somewhere. Oh, right, under the edge. Okay, what else? Okay, we got back bar box. The fucking back bar box. We don't know. It's nine nine percent. Back room pipe. We got to go to the back rooms hatchet. Back room bar is done. The box. We have to go to the back room. Oh, this this pipe. Along this side. Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Wait. What's next? Ceiling light holders. One or two. We also have the bar shelf. Got and ceiling light, ceiling light holder. What the hell's the bar shelf? Oh, under there. This fucking thing has been giving me a pain. There's also apparently time. a box somewhere. It's not fully clean. Hey, you mean the back bar box? No, it, uh... It was just... The boxes. Three or four. Okay. Box, oh, box. found it. It's this bitch right here. Oh, it was over in your area. Okay. I don't know where it has to be cleaned. Yeah, you got it. When in doubt, crouch. Or go prone. Chopping boards, one of two. Chopping board. Got and it. Kitchen counter. Oh, wait, there we go. We got our things now. Kitchen counter. It's probably under. Oh, yeah, it's right under here. Yeah, got it. Okay, now okay, we gotta get up? pots. Oh, these pots. Oh, there's. Oh. Uh, wall lanterns. So one of these. Oh, this is one. This one? Got oh one. yeah. How many are there? Only one left. Oh, here's one. Yeah! Hell yes. Now we get to see it. Oh my gosh. This is very satisfying. Yeah, it is. Alright, let's see. Continue. Yes, there is! The Mako Energy Exhibit. We have to go... We have to clean where they're taking energy from the planet. Oh, no. I don't want to clean that. I want to destroy Wait, it. We're getting pl paid less to go to clean this giant place than Tifa's bar. <laughs> what do you think would treat workers better? The organization killing the planet, or the people fighting it? Oh, they, 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 here's a message from the person <sighs> in charge of this area. Hello once again. I trust you've been able to take in some of the cities since we were last in touch. Sorry to pull you away from your vacation, but we have another job lined up for you. The nature of this task, however, demands a great deal more discretion. Than the first we've had you perform. Of course, this also means you shall be compensated handsomely for your troubles. One of the specimens from Professor Hojo's laboratory escaped and made its way to the 60th floor. It was eventually captured in Mako Energy Exhibit, 
but it refuses to go quietly and the place is coated in a thick layer of biological ooze. While we entrusted the floor and walls to our security team, I insisted that someone with more skilled touch handle the exhibit itself. Reeve. Excuse me. Wait, did Bookworm ever answer me back that uh, they got the answer they wanted about the Rule 34 question? Also, oh, oh. right? Yeah. In case you're, you're curious, this is how we look. Oh, Are we actually going to try doing this tonight? or We can start it, but we're not going to finish it. Uh, okay. It'll save. Oh, so that's what he Oh, right, yeah. Uh, not yet. Lol, well, I was in the middle of a battle. But good to know. So yeah, Bookworm since you... I can't do art, at least not yet. When you learn art, draw a bunch of porn of my character. I'll make sure to share it on Twitter. That's the thing, I have all these ideas for fuck... Uh... Fantasy eroticas. He, like, wants to learn how to fucking draw. Early, just so that I can draw some scenes from my brain. I say learn how to draw. I I I, I can handle like geometric stylized designs, but like drawing people and humanoid things, it's it's so hard for me. There. My god, the fucking barriers between these base walls are individual things. How's this base wall? I'm just going around in a circle. And just clearing most of it. That way I can just come back and just get all the little shit. There, yeah. I would laugh if we get this done before midnight. That would actually... Uh, we're already on 12% or 13% now. We actually may get this done. Actually, we might actually be able to. Depending on how far we get, we I, I may just push it past 12 o'clock. It depends okay. on... Because, like, if we get, like, maybe, like, 60 to 70% before 12 o'clock, I'll be like, yeah, let's go ahead and finish it. <laughs> I feel like we're going to be well past that by then. Yeah. I It looked way bigger than the in the picture. Yeah, it's literally just cleaning off this scale model of a city, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, this is called Midgar. This is the we're seeing. We're, we're seeing Midgar. Midgar the city. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna get some soap. Oh, like it's expensive. I wouldn't. I would immediately buy with like in game money um, if they added SpongeBob suits. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, if they did, you have. If, if they added a Squidward one, you would have to wear it. Because of the Squidward uh, voice. Uh, uh. SpongeBob, I've come for your pickle. And I would probably choose the Spongebob one because I annoy the fuck out of you. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I'm just cutting down on overall time by spending a few bucks to get the soap cleaner filled. 
Bubble sound is so fucking weird. Oh my gosh, we're almost at 50 fucking percent. The power of soap. Yeah, after we beat this, it'll be end of stream, definitely. This is gonna take. This, I didn't know. Why is this one, the next one after the big, uh, after the bar, take less time to do? I mean, it is literally just cleaning a replica. I guess that makes sense. Rather than a whole ass bar. Imagine if we had to clean an entire fucking city. Please don't. Just shut up. Power Wash City Simulator. Come to think of it, you have way more money than me. Why aren't you buying some soap and using the soap nozzle? I'm a capitalist. What kind of sense does that mean? <laughs> it means she's an idiot and doesn't want to admit it. <laughs> that has to be clipped where, where my only explanation is, I'm a capitalist. And you just look at me and say, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> me. Capitalist, that means I have to... I'm just cleaning all the big stuff. This is getting loud. I'm getting some dings. I don't see what you're talking about, uh, complaining about. What do you mean complaining about? Oh. Yeah, we're at 70%. It's not even 1150. Yeah, this thing's getting all the way done tonight. Yeah, we may actually touch a bit into the next one, if there is a next one. And if there isn't a next one, um, if you want to continue doing Power War Simulator do you, uh, tomorrow, do you want to do Tomb Raider or Back to the Future? You're getting cut off. Oh, I was saying, um, if, if you don't if you want to do Power War Simulator tomorrow instead of Minecraft, uh, do you want to do uh, Back to the Future or Tomb Raider? I can't do Back to the Future, remember? All right. So, wait a minute. I didn't buy Back to the Future. Why does it says I can do it? I mean, did you actually try going into it? Because that's where it says that you can't do it. Oh, no. Man. But yeah, I guess, I know there's a second one that you can do, I forgot what it was. I'd have to look at it again. Oh wait, I can do it right now. I literally have everything except for Back to the Future and Spongebob, because those are all the free ones. Oh, this actually is probably the last thing for Midgar. Ah. So we can so either completed... do Tomb Raider, which probably has a bunch of big shit, or we can do Career. Uh, we could work on my career if you want. Sure, I don't mind. That way I can get some stars to get better equipment. fire a rocket? I mean, I didn't, but I did hear it. How the fuck would I fire a rocket? Ah, uh, yes. We're being under attack by feminists. What? <laughs> Why are you a woman? <laughs> The real question is, are they rad femmes, or just feminists in general? Feminists in general. Then that's seriously concerning. What did you do? <laughs> I wanted a sandwich. 
I'm sorry. So in other words, so in other words, you said something sexist. <laughs> you don't need to be a feminist to be against that, you shit. <laughs> I went to Subway and asked for a sandwich, and they got mad. You're really bad at making these jokes. No, that actually did happen to me. I went to a subway what? and I asked for a meatball, a meatball sandwich. They got mad at me and told me to leave. Wait, what? Why? <laughs> I don't know. I just walked in. <laughs> and why immediately call them feminists? Because they're a woman. Woman does not equal feminist, bro. <laughs> I know of plenty of women who are in fact not feminists. There are women who even don't understand what feminism is and say they are strongly against it. Yeah. What in the uh one word? Wait. What? I how did I ask? Oh, uh, I asked, uh, "Can I please have a meatball sandwich?" That's what I said, and he told me to leave right after I said. I guess they were just having a shitty day. Or what do you mean by what in the one word? Like, you can cuss in my chat if you're concerned that you can't cuss. I think you're talking about the word whore. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm, like, trying to figure out a word. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh, never mind then. I just said that word for no reason. <laughs> What's this? Bright did something politically incorrect for no fucking reason? Imagine my surprise. I've done multiple uh, politically incorrect things by well, when Bright, saying that democracy. Is the, what? That is the joke, Bright. That was the sarcasm joke. Jesus Christ. You're welcome. I think majority of my content is just confusing people. <laughs> Gar says we stand bright. That's a bad idea. Okay, so since you stand with me, uh, get launch codes so I can nuke Norway. Like I said, bad idea. <laughs> and why Norway of all places? I don't know. <laughs> Gar just typed in all caps, LAUNCH CODES. <laughs> you have one stan good job the, says book how the fuck would i even get those well now exactly you go to the white house right <laughs> let's not say things that border on the fucking admission to try to commit conspiracy I FBI man or woman or they them. Oh, go oh, Gore, Gore, Gar says. Yes, say FBI. No, person. I'm not welcome there. I'm banned. Gar, what did you do to get banned from the White House? <laughs> oh, should I? T should I say? Uh, should I tell uh, Gar what I did in the White House that you're not supposed to do? Just did. No. I don't want to know. Like, it's not super bad. Oh, yeah. Bright took pictures in the White House when you're not supposed to. I had my phone out the entire time. The person was just talking about the White House and everything. They, they just flat out ignored me, most likely. Because I was in the front of the group. Just taking pictures right in front of the tour guide, and they did nothing. And then it's like, at the end, the tour guide's like, Oh yeah, and by the way, you shouldn't take any pictures. <laughs> yes. I was like, well... It's like, that's just negligence on their part. Yeah. I still have the pictures. <laughs> Can you show them not in a stream, but in DMs, lol? I mean, if, if you had them, of course. I still have them, like, way far up into my photo album. I'll have to find them. 
I'll probably send them tomorrow morning if I remember. So I'm probably gonna go straight to bed after beating this. Gar says, oh shit. Digital Witch says, you monster. Keep Twitch out of the loop. I mean, Twitch didn't care how I almost burned a man alive. Oh, well, technically I did. But he survived. Gar has no context to that. You know what? I'll, I'll just tell them these stories at some other time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gar's like, wait a minute. Right, burn someone alive. <laughs> oh, by the way, Dijula's also works for calling me something. Oh, okay. I'll try to remember that. <laughs> and then Gar says, no, witch. You have to go by witch. Oh, okay. I think the sounds get played whenever I finish cleaning a building up here. Oh. Honestly, either works. That's fair. I mean, if you have a preference, I'll just try to use that, but... I'm just spamming my tab down. button so I can see all the orange crap. I'm kind of doing that too, but it's with my uh, right on the uh, D-pad. Yeah, once we get done with this. This is, I think the main thing is going to be the most annoying is the middle part. Cause it's all jammed together. You're getting... You got cut off, what'd you say? Nothing, I left. But anyways, I was saying the most annoying part is probably gonna be the, um... The, uh, middle part. Oh, yeah, I was... I was touching on it, and I already got frustrated with it. I kind of wish today was Thursday so that I could watch a new episode of JJK. That series is so good. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen? Yeah. Okay. I actually tried it, I didn't get into it. Yeah, I absolutely adore it. I needed something to occupy my brain after Attack on Titan ended, and that pretty quickly climbed the ranks of my choices. Yeah, there's actually one thing I need to get, uh, I keep forgetting to watch because I'm trying to catch up on One Piece. I'm at like f halfway through One Piece at the moment. Eh. Yeah, but, um,. It, which is data live because I've seen they have more episodes than I remember watching in the past. Digital says, gotta go, I might be back before you stop streaming. Oh, okay. Take care, witch digital. The, 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 the digital witch TV. <laughs> you know what data live is, right? 
Yes, I know what day the lag is. I think I watched the first season, like, as, like, my th third or fourth anime. Yeah. Ever. I remember appreciating it quite a bit. Yeah, there was more spirits added. Well, yeah, obviously. Do you, do you care about spoilers or no? Kind of. Okay, I won't say anything then. I think I watched until, like, midway of the second season and then fell off of it. So you don't care anything else? It... Eh. Honestly, I, I, I'd probably just want to avoid it just in case. Gotcha. Yeah! Sector 1 outskirts. I think one of the most oh, weirdest animes I watched at first that I kind of wish it kept continuing, which was uh, Campione. Eh, I remember thinking that was really mid. Eh, but it was one. Of, it was the second anime I ever watched. The first one, I didn't think about it getting a, a second season. Like kind of glad it didn't because what it did is like a special and it was really really fucking bad but it did as but I, I mean I'm assuming you're meaning camphor yes um as a special the dolls that like are supposed to assist them with their powers or whatever took over their bodies remember the, these guys are minors alright okay yeah, eventually they got out of debt and had to do, um, uh, wear very skimpy clothing at a club and satisfy men. Okay. Yeah, that was not why I wanted to see. <laughs> That's valid. That's valid. That was like, no. Anyway, this is called Campione, right? Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, camp, yeah, camp, you know, yeah. Or not Campione, uh, camp camper. camper. Yeah, camper. camper. Like, the, the show wasn't that bad. It was just the fucking extra that just went batshit insane. <laughs> to be fair, there's a lot of anime with iffy fan service. Yeah, and I, and I feel like that was very bad. I mean, yeah, it's the sort of thing where it's like, if you're uncomfortable with it, I mean, that's fair. Yeah, I I think the most uh, part that made me uncomfortable is because the dolls, they never had a human body for, so they didn't know right from wrong. So when I got put in that situation, I kind of inferred something bad would really happen. Uh... Yeah... Which means I feel bad for the original owners of the bodies. <laughs> and again, I should have not watched that show when I was a, a child. <laughs> yeah, especially not. No, yeah, that's that's the big thing. <laughs> Me. Hey, at least your starting animes wasn't the same ones that I watched for the first one. Oh, well, you're starting you don't animes. Don't count a uh, Speed Racer or Kimba. Oh, okay. If you don't count those, Speed Racer used to be played pretty regularly when I was a kid. Still, I had heard of it, but I never actually watched it. Same actually very fun and the interesting thing about it is the version of speed racer that's popular is technically the american version ah uh. yeah the japanese version was so boring they just handed it to the u.s and like do whatever you want with it this is junk uh 
and America and made so, it better. <laughs> yeah, and so they made an actual show with it. And then it got popped on. I know yeah, Kimba had popular. some. I know that Kimba had some really yikes elements. Yes, it did. Also, Disney definitely copied it. Uh. Which honestly, I don't care about. I just care that they, they, they're not honest about it. I still don't see but how again, that's. I don't even care that they're not honest about it. I just care that they literally block any anime of Kimba from entering the U.S. If I'm not mistaken, that literally only happened once, and they rescinded it. That's happened multiple times. Hmm. I've been accidentally cleaning the middle part when I'm trying to clean the, this area. Yeah, that's been happening to me too. I think I'm actually starting to think the mo what's starting to come most in the morning is these little bitches right here. I will say there are uh, things the Lion King changed that are better. There are also ones that are not better, but. I like Lion King one and a half. I thought it was pretty funny. I have not seen that, but I have heard it is amusing. Yeah. I mean, it does sh uh, show some things you didn't get to see in the first movie. Yeah. I guess that's the thing. Is like, from my knowledge of like the Kimba Lion King thing is just like. It's an almost entirely Americanized complaint that basically just doesn't exist in Japan. Especially since, like, literally all of Tezuka's descendants that have spoken about it basically have just said they don't think that Disney copied it. Well, they are also all fans of Disney. Sorry, what was that? They're also fans of Disney. I mean, yeah, but, like, that doesn't change the fact that, like, the the original creator's kids and the company that owns the IP do not believe that The Lion King copied them. In fact, I think it was like a press release from Tezuka Studios that basically just said, you know, if you're going to have a story that takes place in Africa using an like animal characters there's only so many things you can pull from because you're like both series are basically playing with a lot of the same pieces because they're both about the savannah animals in africa the environments are the environments are primarily going to end up being similar in many cases not all of them the animals are going to logically be similar and a lot of those animals are depicted in ways that are entirely in line with standard pop cultural manners of depicting the animals. I think I'm going to finish the outside circle. You, you think you can get the inside stuff? Yeah, gotcha. It's like, I just find it kind of odd like again that like it's 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 a perspective that's basically unique to America and all of the people who are like have a say in Kimba basically say that they don't think that pick that Disney ripped them off Oh yeah, I never told you guys, but I, I ended up watching uh the the Percy Jackson show. That was a show. Yeah, they made they recently made it on Disney. Oh, is it good? Honestly, that there was it was actually pretty well done. It was way better than movies. 
Huh. Which is it's a good thing, because the movies were cool. dog shit. This show is pretty good. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything uh, about the show. We don't talk about those. We talk. Oh, the movies. Yeah. The ones that Rick Riordan said he regretted giving the rights to do. He said that on Twitter. Damn. Yeah, they were so bad that even the author of the series hates them. <laughs> I think... I think there was, like, one thing that people were getting... A little pissy about that I just really didn't care which was that uh, Annabeth was not white in the show what's this audience there's there's like very vocal minority of audiences that freak out because there's any amount of diversity in a piece of media <laughs> It, like, Imagine my shock. Those people can fuck off. <laughs> I'm getting the outside really well done. Yeah, meanwhile, I'm still. Oh, there it is. I think. Uh, yeah, there's some... yeah, there we go. There's like a lot of tiny cooks and crannies, but. Yeah. Yeah, there's only one thing it has been confirmed there's only one thing that I I'm hoping it doesn't go terribly because if they fuck it up I'm gonna be so pissed off I mean the Percy Jackson thing no they're gonna make a live action of how to train your dragon oh yeah I heard about that there's no way that ends well right it, it, that it was it, it's a good series and I swear the fuck they fuck it up that fucking film was my childhood yeah to this day I still have its theme song stuck in my head <laughs> yeah I never actually uh, got started on watching the the TV series, though. Like, TV show series. I know that I watched it and I liked it when I was a kid, but if I looked back on it now, I'd probably hate it. Based yeah. upon, like, what I've seen from people. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a look at it. If, if it's shit, then I'm probably not gonna watch it. <laughs> it's any watching, I mean. Although, let's just be frank, half of my reason for watching it it's just the fact that I had a massive crush on Astrid and wanted to see literally anything else with her character in it. Oh my god. I'm not ashamed to say I was an Astrid simp. That's the one thing. I don't really think I've had any crushes on characters from cartoons or anything. I, that's fair. Or in real life things. I... I think I've only had it on actual people I've met in real life. I don't think I've actually thought about that. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, you're ace. <laughs> it doesn't mean I can't have crushes on people before. <laughs> okay, the outer ring's done. Oh, sweet. I'm still working on some of these sector plates because they're finicky as fuck. 
Yeah, let's see. I'm double checking. Wait. Yeah, there's base floor intersections. It's two of those. Base walls. What do you mean base walls? I got the walls. There's like a lot of little nooks and crannies that are hard to see. I noticed that a little bit earlier. Each one of these fucking pipes is its own thing. Alright. Can I get the base wall now? Food is awake. Yes. Which is why I was muted. I was talking with food. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Spood, can you hear me? <laughs> I, I have one thing that I have to tell you, okay? Penis. Looks like, from what I can tell, looks like all the sector plates and the uh, base floor intersections are done. Just check. All right. What so... I was going to say before Spood woke up was that I do not know if Japanese people do or don't believe that the Lion King copied some elements from the series. Anyways, um. Only that the family does not believe. Awesome. I mean, the whole ass company made that statement. Nah. Well, in general, in Japan. People typically don't fight against their bosses against on things. They, they mean, agree. That it's is actually the actually one of the anyway. cultural issues Japan has. I mean, I do agree. It's just like. So I, I'm going to say it's the the heads that are that are speaking. But like literally, the origin of like talking about this was with American otaku's. Like, the earliest references to these claims comes from, like, Americans reacting to Actually, anime. the earliest claims aren't from otaku. They're just from, like, old people that used to watch Kimba when they were kids. And then no, animators like... who made fun of it. No, there was, like, literally, like, the earliest references to this from what I saw in the analyst, like the analysis I saw was from uh, like one of the old guard, like earliest otakus in America that did a lot of writing about this. When did they do the writing about it? I think, uh, oh, I want to say it was like very early 90s. Then once again, that is probably not the earliest reference since another thing that happened in the early 90s before like literally when the lion king came out you want to know what my mom said the day we watched it it was kimba besides that besides that the fact that she someone who had grown up watching it all the time immediately thought that the Simpsons actually, like, not long after the movie came out, they made one episode mocking it. Uh, when Bleeding Gums Murphy died, the character, they made a joke, like, of a few people popping up in clouds, because apparently that's a very, like, normal movie thing to do, and one of the things was... Uh, a lion father popping up in the clouds saying Kimba, I mean Simba. So, the Ataku is not the earliest reference, just the probably the earliest written article reference. Well, yeah. People were literally making the connection as soon as they saw it. I'd still say that it seems very unfounded. Yeah, anyway, Hatch, I want to go ahead and read what we need to do. No. Base floor intersection 7 of 8. Uh, oh, excuse me. Oh, you found it? 
Yeah, here it is. Yeah. Sector double zero large silo zero of two. Uh, sector zero zero large towers two of three. And narrow towers zero of two. Observation platforms two of three. That was all sector zero. Was it double zero? As well as one small tower and all the spotlights. All the spotlights? Yep. It says uh, sector double zero spotlights zero of six. Uh, sector 8 Mako Reactor. Uh, Shinra Building Executive Floor's Pedestal. Then the Shinra Building Exhaust Pipe, one of two. Shinra Building Lower Floors. Shinra Building Middle Floors. Shinra Building Piping, 18 of 28. Shinra Building Rear Support, 0 of 2. Shinra Building the Drum Lavatory. And that's it. Okay, you got oh, I we got a bunch of stuff. Maybe another way to put it is like actually like any legitimate form of copyright infringement with this? I don't think anyone believes they copied the story. I think it's more like pretending like they're, that they never heard of the anime at all when the the style is so similar. It was just very fishy. The fact that Simba and Kimba's names are so similar. Oh shit. I mean, they're so similar because they were made from the same root word. Simba's the word for lion in Swahili. Kimba was, like, given that name because of the word Simba. There were earlier, like, there were literally earlier comics that featured lions named Simba. We are almost done, Hatchet. It's literally just zero, zero silos and narrow towers. Okay, is this... That, okay, I got one of them. There's one. A narrow oh, tower. Oh, oh, I see. You see it? Oh, I see it too. Yeah! There it is. Yeah! Well, and thinking about it, looking it up, I forgot that Kimba's original name in Japan was Leo, so. Yeah. Like, Kimba was the name that. Tezuka Studios gave them for the uh, American localization. Oh, no, we correct. have one more thing. It's the Airbuster. Oh. Which is another robot. I guess we do that next time we play. Yep. Like, if I remember correctly, it was, like, specifically an... <laughs> ...of, like, uh, a fellow who was working with Tezuka in the localization where he pitched to Tezuka the name Simba because it's a Swahili word for lion. And Tezuka basically said, the issue with naming our lion Simba is literally anyone can name their lion Simba. So let's change the name of it. And thus it changed to Kimba. There's a clip. I have a clip. Oh yeah, that's right. Book said that they tried to clip something. Oh shit, Toast left the server. Wait, they did? Yeah, I just uh, see the notification they left today at 10.50. I'm not uh -oh. surprised. When was the last time Toast said anything here? I'm answering. Yeah. Uh, 
I hope I didn't come across as, like, mean in talking about this. Not really. It just right. feels kind of like you're looking at this from the perspective of someone who... Who is younger than me, I will say. I'd say that I'm, like, I... My perspective is primarily based upon trying to get an objective, like, aerial view of the situation. Fair enough, but I think it helps to be a little older in some cases because you just get information that's harder to get when it's not written on the internet, not written in books, and it might change some slight details. Like, I'm positive there's a lot of information either of us have, like, what do people in Japan think of the situation? I have no idea. I only know what the creators of, the, the family of the creators of Kimba know. I mean, think. Which, which to be fair, I... the entirety I, of Japan. I mean, yeah, but to be fair, I would also say that that perspective is probably one of the single most important perspectives given the subject matter which to be fair yes it is hey hatcher you uh, wouldn't mind if i rated you right oh i'd mind incredibly i i i can't stand the idea you can go right ahead right. so uh there, I'm seeing one viewer left in my chat, so, Book, is that you? And are you still capable of sticking around to watch some Darkest Dungeon? Oh, no, that was my stream. I, it, for some reason, Twitch doesn't always mute my shit when I go to my, uh, what's it called? Stream Manager? So sometimes when I go there to go do a raid, it'll, it'll just start talking <laughs> like yeah. I, was, I was playing the audio and i was like god damn it <laughs> well if the stream is ending i might as well go do laundry and get some tea for my headache fair yeah slate switch yeah um so yeah so i do have a little more uh information in some areas than you on the subject hatchet but not everything there's a lot of information right both of us that are missing, I feel like. So, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, so, Hatchet, what's our last words going to be? Oh, well, my uh, last words that can be for Brightstream. Uh, last words for Brightstream will be, And remember, kids, when you smell the outside of an ostrich, never touch the ostrich's penis. The penis of the ostrich is made out of cork bark, and cork bark might hurt your dog oh my god oh. also i don't know why i said last words i meant raid words oh raid words oh um, i don't know uh, why i said last words they're raiding two right so yeah. uh um uh i could suggest uh, something very random i i was thinking just like welcome back to the chew I wanted something random as fuck like we do with the Olympics. I hate drawing chairs. <laughs> okay, I guess that works. Yeah, I hate drawing chairs. You got it, bookworm? Uh, Alright, let me get fucking... <laughs> no, god damn it, caps lock. <laughs> cars. I type cars instead of chairs. <laughs> Rip. Okay. I'm seeing I have two viewers around. So is uh is one of those Gar? Probably. Gar, are you still here? Sounds great for you. <laughs> Gosh, book. Anyway. Oh, Jerry, no. Oh, okay. Book, you ready to raid?
Okay, in three, two, one. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs>